Hi guys, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergin. Today I'm going to talk to you about why is my blood sugar not going down? I am an endocrinologist. I see a lot of diabetic patients in my clinic. That question sometimes come up and I generally ask my patients what is going on with their life? What are they doing that that they shouldn't be doing that is preventing blood sugars going down. Now, a lot of times something they ate because they skipped a, a, a medication dose and then they wait and wait and wait and their blood sugar doesn't come down. Well, it may not come down because if you're insulin resistant, your body is trying to raise your blood sugar all the time. So the insulin resistance is the biggest factor that prevents your blood sugar from going down. And the second thing, if you're not physically active, if you're not exercising, that blood sugar is not going to go anywhere because your body is not burning it, right? So if your basal metabolism rate is low, if you're overweight, if you're not physically active, then your body is not going to burn that sugar, so it's not going to go down. And sometimes it's interesting that people keep eating things that they shouldn't be uh, b uh, because they, they don't think that it's bad enough for them. Uh, they will, for example, just simply eat fruits and think that the fruits are just okay for diabetes. And uh, as we discussed in our previous videos, every fruit will increase your blood sugar. It depends on what the glycemic index is and how much you're eating and so forth. But uh, not having a good understanding of diet also contributes to it. And sometimes, uh, another thing that people don't understand is the high fat content in your food will make your blood sugar stay high for a long time. The simplest example for that would be a pizza. So if you eat pizza, I bet you if you're diabetic, your blood sugar will stay high hours and hours and hours. Even if your diabetes control is good, uh, even if you know how much carbs you ate with that pizza, because of the fat content in the cheese that comes with pizza, your blood sugar will stay high because fat will slow the the absorption which is uh, not a bad thing always but if you have a high carbohydrate load and high saturated fat that's coming to your system which makes you even more insulin resistant so even though your blood sugars are kind of spiked in a delayed fashion uh, but it will still go high because of the insulin resistance that is created by the fat content of that food now the last thing that can increase your blood sugar would be stress level if you're in pain if you are stressed out if your body is pumped up with adrenaline and cortisol uh, if you're if you're fearful of something, if you're in a stressful situation, all these things will create insulin resistance as well, which will prevent blood sugar going down. And one more that I just remembered is the infection. So if your body is dealing with an infection, again, the stress hormones are going to be high and that's going to prevent your blood sugar from going down. Uh, so in this case, you definitely need to take more medication. If you're on insulin, you need to take more insulin and you need to be very careful about, careful about carbohydrates. If you're on steroids for a chronic condition such as lung disease or some other disease that also prevents your blood sugar from going down just like the internal steroids that you create when you're stressed out or, or in pain or when you have an infection the steroids given outside as a prescription can definitely cause the same effect and can prevent your blood sugar from going down. So what you should do? So sometimes if you have a sliding scale insulin, you can take that to bring your blood sugar down. Sometimes if you have an agent such as a glupazide, glimopride, although they're not my favorite, but they are kind of good at bringing your blood sugar down fast, which can be dangerous. So you have to keep checking your blood sugar if you are taking an extra pill like that. Uh, but if if it is not coming down then that may be an option to do uh, another option is of course taking a walk if you take a nice and you know two mile walk uh, by the time you come back it may be okay and it depends on how much you had so if you had a whole tray of pizza don't expect your blood sugar to just come down just from a two mile walk it may just still stay high so um, you just need to have a common sense and you need to have a good judgment and understanding of the effect of the diet, effect of medications, and effect of exercise, etc. So, I hope these are helpful guys, and if you think it is, please give a thumbs up, and subscribe, and share this video if you think it is helpful. Have a wonderful day.